This is Sean and Sue's podcast on 92.7 WOBM. The Ocean County Breakfast Show with Sean Michaels and Sue Ball. Ocean County's best variety. 92.7 WOBM. 92.7 WOBM with Katie Perry on this Tuesday morning. Right now, 30 degrees. Getting the kids up for school shortly. Cold one out there. Winter jackets out once again, Sue. Oh, yes. The hats. The gloves. So now, <laughs> no would, scrapers. Would you ask for a caramel apple or a caramel apple? Caramel. A caramel yes. apple. Okay. Yes. I think I've said it both ways, mm-hmm. although I took a little survey at home this morning and caramel seemed to be the. Okay. Um, but it's just yeah. one of those things. Today is National Caramel or Caramel Day. Mm-hmm. A day to honor caramel. What is caramel? Is it chocolate? What do we. What is caramel? No, it's the. Brown. I know that, but I'm saying, what is it? Descri- is it just, is it just caramel? It's caramel. All right. Or there, caramel. There needs to be no explanation. But it's not chocolate, though. You wouldn't put it in the chocolate? Because I think sometimes people put caramels in the chocolate category, in the no. chocolate family. Caramel is not in the chocolate fac- uh, factory. In the family, it's you don't by think itself. It's, you don't think it's in the chocolate family? No, it's a topping. Hmm. I don't know about it's not t- like a fudge topping. Well, it's topping. not a topping. It stands on its own. I mean, I it's pretty know. much a topping. It is. Caramel is a topping. I mean, you can't. You can buy caramel candies or caramel inside of chocolate or caramel mm. in other things. You put caramel on. Well, here's ice one of the cream. definitions of, of caramel or caramel is a beige to dark brown confectionery product. That could be used for puddings and desserts, fillings, toppings for ice cream, and custard. Correct. So that's a lot. Candies, desserts, confections. All right. You can but use it's it to make brittles. And chocolate family. You can use it with brittles and nougats and pralines <laughs> and creme brulee and creme caramel. And <laughs> wow, it can oh. be used as a lot. I always sort of associated it with the chocolate family for some reason. I don't really? know. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I guess because a guess lot of times. I guess the question to you, you is: have, Do you like it? It's not my favorite thing. Me like either. I would, like if I was, you know, you Me know. Me either. What's one of the big brands? Is it Werther's? Is that caramel? That's butterscotch. That's, <laughs> That's a totally different category. That's butterscotch. Um, Werther's. Um, well, Hershey's makes a lot. I don't know any brand of caramel. I don't. Well, I don't know what the brands are. Hmm. I don't know. I'm looking at different ones here. A Hershey's has Godiva's got caramels. Okay. Caramels, whatever you want to call them. Well, that's with the chocolates? But just in all different forms. There's one here called the Getz's. <laughs> no. Do you remember those caramel creams? Caramel creams? They were like the caramels. They were in a clear wrapper. They were like Getz's. Did they have white they in the called. middle? Yeah, white in the middle. Yep, uh, that's no, it. I almost, I almost choked. Yeah. I were there's originals, that. Sue? So, really? Yeah, Werther's original. They're not butterscotch. Well, they have butterscotch, but they mm. but they have caramel okay. and a bunch of other flavors. I think Werther's is the one that I was always thinking of. Anyway, if you want to talk a little caramel or caramel, caramel. with us, I think the apple might be the most popular thing. Do you think? I think the caramel so. Apples? Pa- pa- oh, or chocolate inside chocolate. Yeah, inside chocolate. Definitely. That's where mm-hmm. I think my connection with the chocolate. Or the comes toppings from. on the ice cream. Hey, if you're a caramel lover, it's your day. Give us a buzz. Mm. You're better than the best. 92.7 WOBM. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Hi, good. good morning. All right, is it caramel or caramel? It depends where you're from, honestly. Either way. Okay. Um, what do you but say? It's, uh, not, no magic to it. It's sugar that's brown with a little bit of water. Oh. You add some cream or milk, and then you have caramel or caramel. Do you consider it to be like in the chocolate family or no? No, it's a, it's a sugar confectionery. You can put okay. it in. All right, cool. What town are you from? Uh, Fork River. What is Thank your you. What's your favorite way to eat it, though? Uh, I like the Getz's, uh, the bullseye creams. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the Getz's ones. Ooh, All right, thanks careful. for your call. I choked. Uh, WOBF, good morning. Yes, good morning. I wanted to make a comment about the caramel. Is yes. It, it's caramels, huh? I buy these things, and they're called Nips. Nips. Oh, yes! That's right. They have a new one out called with peanut butter filled. But no caramel in it. Yep, yeah, the caramel's on the outside. It's caramel oh. with peanut butter in the middle. Yeah, peanut butter nips. Yeah. Okay. What, um, is that, what town are you from? I'm from Barnegat. 
Have a, and, I and, love the nips, though. I really, really do the chocolate ones. And you say caramel, yeah. huh? Because I think it's turning out to be potato potato, right? It's caramel. Yeah, they, they have one called peanut butter parfait, and I can't get enough of them. Oh, All right. boy. All right, well, have a good day. Sue, we got to get you a big bag of nips. Yes, I love nips. All right, caramel or caramel, the debate rages on, but there's a big, uh, you know, maybe you like the uh, caramel nips. Hey, WOBM, Sean Sue with you. Monday morning, waking up 741, 46 degrees. Over the weekend, you had a uh, blog that was up. We were talking about cashiers. Yes. You know, a lot of times maybe we forget to thank or recognize the cashiers that we love and who get us through the stores and in and out when we are on a busy day. The reason I brought it up is because the other night I was at Walmart in Lonoka Harbor, right Mm -hmm. along Route 9. Yeah. And um, it truly is... A great, great thing when you have a happy or friendly cashier. And we did, Curtis. So that's why I wrote this okay. uh, blog, which, by the way, Curtis is getting recognized in one of the uh, meetings really? this week. So, Congratulations. Yeah, and he deserves it. And all the associates there, they're pretty uh, pretty cool. So um, we got a couple of great ones. I thought we'd give a couple shout-outs yeah, to go the great for it. cashiers. These are actual they are people mm-hmm. that uh, people wrote in to tell you about. Someone else from the Lenoka Harbor Walmart, Beth. That works. They're always polite and courteous. Dolores wrote us and said, Alice at the Sears Shoe Department at the Ocean County Mall. Wow. She went above and beyond to help us. So that's cool. Deborah wrote in and said she loves Michelle. She works at Johnny G's in Tom's River. She's friendly, personable, and a joy to deal with when she places order from Colorado and she delivers food to my mom. Very nice. So that is so, so cool. Uh, We have a couple others. Amelia wrote in, Erin at the Wawa on Route 70. She's super nice and always has a great smile. And there are so many more. I'm so glad I wrote this blog because for the friendly cashiers out there, whether you go into a shop right or a Whole Foods or Kmart or Walmart, it doesn't matter. If you have a smile on your face and you say, hey, have a great day, it goes a long way. It does. It really, really does. When you really recognize does. somebody and just acknowledge yeah. them mm-hmm. for the work that they do and everything. So very so nicely done. So we thank done. you for that. And Curtis, at the Walmart in Lenoka Harbor, you were great. I, 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 it was just great. And folks can check out your story, Sue. It's still up. You bet. It's at WOBM.com, also on our Facebook as Very well. Very nice. So all those cashiers out there, thank you for Great getting job. us in and out. We appreciate you. There you go. All right. We'll be back. We'll take a look at news, traffic, weather. It's all coming up, Sue, uh, here on this brand new Monday morning, National Hug a News Person Day. <laughs> Check out the video. I love it. WOBM with Bon Jovi at 848. 36 degrees in Tom's River. Last sunshine out there. If you didn't know it was cold, you'd look out the window and say, it's a nice morning out there. It's nice. Mm -hmm. But it's cold. Hi there. Good morning. Sean and Sue waking you up. Right now, 36 in Tom's River. Oh, let's do the weather. Um, Like you said, it does look beautiful out there, but it is cold, a bit windy later today. 50, so we are warming up. Cloudy, foggy tonight, overnight low into the 40s. All right, as we get set to wrap it up, Nancy Remy with us this morning. Hi, Nancy. I'm talking about a uh, survey we talked about a little earlier, Nancy, but I wanted to see what your thoughts on this uh, were. Things that annoy your coworkers. All right, this was a list put together by Business Insider. All right, I'll start at number 10. We'll go through them real quick. Go for it. See if you guys agree. I have uh, to know what annoys people I work with? Yes. <laughs> okay. Swearing is number 10 on the list. Oh, I hope not. All right, they say that uh, <laughs> it may be good for the bar after work, but it's not good for the workplace. <laughs> All right, number nine, trying to sell your coworkers things. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's tough. I don't usually do that. All right, number eight, interrupting people. Mm. How can we not? This one here is weird. I don't don't know. Nervous habits. If you work with people who bang their feet, (coughs) snap their gum, play with their keys, clear their throats. Nancy. (laughs) Uh, We so work with one that sits right across from us, Nancy. Yeah, well, how come? What? Again, we're in radio. You have to clear your throat before you go on the air. Right? I'm I'm just saying he's a little nervous fellow. His (laughs) papers have to be perfectly straight. That's not... 
That's not nothing. Oh. That's not making noise or anything. Mm -hmm. All right, calling out sick when you're not really sick. Mm -hmm. Do you care when your coworkers call out? Yeah, if it yes. makes more work for everybody else. Right. Yeah, Absolutely. sure. All right, um, complaining but if you're... too much. <laughs> That's the next one on the list. Uh. <laughs> Good <laughs> Lord. workers who complain. <laughs> yeah. That, uh, you know, whatever. That goes without saying. Um, too much personal stuff during workout. <laughs> you guys have to deal with a lot of that. But usually I'm out in the what open with it. What are you, what are you confessing, Sue? <laughs> All right, number three is being a slob. Oh. All right. Yeah. We won't even open the cubby. <laughs> <laughs> Showing up late for work is number two on the list. I don't know who would do That's that. That's annoying. I mean, is oh, it there annoying? Are, there are <clears throat> people with chronic... <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, sorry. I just did that nervous thing Ooh, again where I cleared kick. my throat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, <sighs> and this one so here annoying. is number one, and I, I think some of the others might have made number one, but this is number mm -hmm. one braggers at work oh that guy or that girl comes in and yeah. says how great their kids are or we don't have a lot of them i don't think how great their new car is or i used to work with you know. someone who no matter what story you told they had a better one it was well and then it went it was <laughs> it got to be a game it was hilarious after a while well, you know nancy you know. that time you went to india there was yeah, a time exactly. where i met <laughs> Muhammad gandhi <laughs> exactly um, with uh, one after the next. All right, so there you go. There's the list of the top ten things that annoy your coworkers. You forgot from things like you know Insider. too much perfume or aftershave. We did mention that earlier, oh, yeah. but it didn't make the list. Makes me nuts. It yes, didn't make the list. That's what I say too. Because that's like it a personal is that space smell. Yeah, yeah. All right, let me ask you this then: What's worse? B.O. or too much cologne? If you had to pick. Too much cologne, I'll take the B.O. I'll take the hoagie smell. I'll take the cheese smell. Ooh. I will take anything <laughs> except for that cologne and perfume. <laughs> oh, I can't he handle it. I would, I would have to call out sick. <laughs> I was actually thinking of having a s nice sub sandwich yeah, this afternoon. Go. Now I'm thinking it smells like... You know, Joe little, down on the third floor. A little behind whatever, the ears. You know, a little behind the ears. By the way, there was no Joe on the third floor. I was a fictitious mm -hmm. person. Yeah. So before you start thinking, there's some smelly you know, guy. Uh, I'm going building. down. It's smelling Joe right now. <laughs> Is there a Joe on the third floor? No, I don't think okay, so. Okay, good, good. Not. All right. Nancy Enough Reedy of that. Is in. We all love each other at work. <laughs> Here she is getting you to work. Sweet smelling as we are. This yes. report is brought to you by Sam's Club as we check out. 92.7 WOBM. Good morning, Sean Sue, with you for a Tuesday morning. Over the weekend, uh, my wife and I experimented with Indian food. Oh, jeez. Over the weekend. Well, so been... wait, wait, wait. Are you doing this thing where you're experimenting all kinds of foods? All different foods, yes. Oh, that's It neat. is our trip around the world with food. In Jersey, um, I love it. We we're, and we're doing different <laughs> themes with it. Like a couple of weekends ago, we had our big Greek weekend yeah, where we went to go cool. see um you know my big fat greek w uh, wedding too mm -hmm. but we went to a greek dinner that night at a greek restaurant locally so over the weekend we were watching the movie uh the last exotic marigold hotel uh which is out um it's on dvd it's now a there's great movie. there's two of them actually mm -hmm. and um we also watched the 100 foot journey the 100 foot journey which is another good movie but they were all you know centered on india so we decided to watch those and get indian food at a local place and i wasn't sure if i was going to like it or not but i did you know a lot of times when you're growing up i think i may have had curry years ago or you know went to an Ita uh, indian place and i didn't like it but then your taste buds change and I really enjoyed it over the weekend. I don't know if you're a fan of it or not, but I, it was different taste. Coconut and mm. curry mm. and uh, some of the stronger taste. The, the chicken was really good. Mm. Really good stuff. My palate is so boring, Sean. As you know, yeah. we've gone to dinner a lot. I just, I, I will experiment, but I don't know if I could go to different yeah. places all the time for dinner. No. So we did that over the weekend. So, uh, you know, if you're looking to uh, try that, That's a great Indian thing. is neat, I think. So now tonight our theme is completely broken up, though. I'm going to see Jersey Boys, yeah. but I'm going to eat Russian tonight. Ooh. So that's going to be my well, extravagant thing tonight. What, what, is, what, what is the Russian's meat? What do they eat for meat? Meat? Is it like our well, meat? I know fish and beef. You beef, know. okay. Beef stroganoff is one of the big things on the menu. My favorite, by Chicken the way. Chicken Kiev was another oh thing. Oh, my goodness. Can you bring um, me home some... Uh, no, probably uh, not. Beef stroganoff Probably is not. Fave. By the time I go to the show and I got to carry that around, you know, I, I don't want to do Can that. Can you stop by after the show? <laughs> no, I can't do that. Oh, I love it But so listen much. to me. Uh, yes. Caviar is a big thing. Ooh. 
No, um, no. I like caviar, but I probably fish, uh, fish eggs. <laughs> but I probably won't get um, caviar tonight. Just I'm not. You Isn't know, that very not expensive? Doing that. It can be. Isn't that what you get like when you can be. watch those movies and they say, oh. Do, would you like some caviar? Yeah, it can be. I mean, it, it, it's an acquired taste. And I like seafood, so it doesn't bother me. Okay. A lot of people are like, oh, we'll caviar. Um, and there's some other things. That, you know, of course, you know, they mentioned various vodka delicacies that there are because I guess it wouldn't be a Russian restaurant if there wasn't vodka involved. But um, well, so I'll, I'll have to report drunk back to you. Tonight. I'm not going to get drunk tonight. No. Oh, Whether say. I have a vodka, if you need a you know, ride home from taste New York, of something, call me. I'll you know. come pick you up. There was uh, something on the dessert <laughs> menu. I was looking at the dessert menu, and yeah. they had a honey cake. Um, mm. and I can't remember the name of it, but mm. I will uh, look at the menu, and I will uh, let you know about that. And there was also, um, I think it was called uh, vodka fudge balls or something. Ooh. That they was highlighted as well. Try it all out. Take some pictures, too. I'd love to see it. Yeah. So tonight it's going to be the Russian adventure, and uh, I'll let you know how that goes here. Cool. You know what I love? I love the app Yelp. Do you use Yelp a lot? Yes, I do. Yelp lets you find places you wouldn't ordinarily find, mm-hmm. Sue. And then when you find them, you can... You it's know. a website. It's Yelp, Y-E-L-P yeah. dot com. Find Especially businesses. if you're looking it's great for, for a businesses. restaurant. Or any yeah. businesses, mm-hmm. really, that you're looking for. It's a great business directory. Definitely. And, uh, for I'm just, whatever town you might be in. Yeah, and it has reviews and it has menus and things. Uh, the honey cake is called Madavik. Ooh. And the chocolate, oh, it's chocolate rum balls, not, uh, not vodka balls. Oh, rum balls. Uh, <laughs> rum balls. It's <laughs> called Kartashka. Mm. So... Should be interesting. I'm, I'm looking very at trying proud those. of you for trying all so these different So we're going to see what's going to happen, you know, and who knows? Maybe a little bit of this, too, tonight. Hey. 92.7 WOBM. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Uh, Janet. Janet, what town are you from? Breck. Okay, so Janet, tomorrow's April Fool's Day. Last year, we got Sue with a little gag. Uh, was it called the Monkey Ball? Was it the garbanzo cam? Was it laughing with licorice or fun with a bowl of chili? I think it was the garbanzo. <laughs> yes. yes. Garbanzo's off. It was. It, it was. Garbanzo was. Cam. It was the garbanzo <laughs> cam. We actually had a can of garbanzo beans from ShopRite, which we told Sue was a new camera that you could actually sync to your iPhone, <laughs> and Sue was taking video with a can of beans. Janet, I totally <laughs> fell for it. Uh, totally sorry, fell Sue. for it because why I trust my friend Sean that he wouldn't play any fun, tricks though. on me. It was a lot of fun. In fact, we're going to put some vintage video up uh, oh, for great. folks to check out today. <laughs> Memories of the Garbanzo Cam. So listen, uh, Janet, you're going to the Asbury Park Film and Music Festival. It is happening the weekend of the 8th through the 10th. There's all kinds of great things going on. Go to apmff.com for more details. And congratulations, you're a winner. Great. Thank you very much, Sean and Sue. Garbanzo's off. The 30s tomorrow, cold and windy, plenty of sunshine, and lower 40s. Coming up next hour, lots of fun with Philip Phillips and Matt Nathanson at the Pony yes. this summer. It's going to be fun. We've got your chance to win with the morning coffee contest coming up. Nancy Remy's with us. Nancy, we're talking about romance today, our most romantic spots here at the Jersey Shore, maybe to steal a kiss. Uh, Sue did give me permission in my blog <laughs> to write her favorite spot is the Walmart parking lot. <laughs> That wow. is her it fa- just sounds that, that horrible. What a romantic you are. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Would this be oh. near where the uh, where you put your baskets, like you know the, the the basket you know thing where you put your carts when you're done, or would you be further out in the parking further lot? Further out. Further out. Further out. Okay. In the parking further out. Lot, yeah. Um, I, you know, I was mentioning places like the beach. Um, you know, maybe some of the uh, beautiful places like Island Beach State Long Park. Long Bay. Yeah. Uh, you've got uh, Barnegat Light. I thought maybe you know, kind of romantic to be atop. The Ferris wheel. If you ever been on that Ferris wheel at Six Flags, you're really mm. looking out over the, uh, you know, mm-hmm. out over the folks over at the Walmart. Uh- <laughs> I was at a wedding this weekend in the one hour that we had sun. Yes. At in the shadow of the Barnegat Light. Yeah. It, in Barnegat mm. Light, it was so beautiful. The light was gorgeous. It was so romantic for this couple, and had nothing to do with a parking lot. <laughs> Man, why don't you try it sometime? All right. You know, listen. I'm. I graduated high school a while ago. 
I don't need to be in a parking lot. <laughs> well, I just did five years ago, uh-huh. so I am you know, still a young one behind oh, sure. the ears. <laughs> yeah, sure. You just you just think that in your mind, and uh, you tell us which parking lot you like best. Oh, well, you know, it does goodness. remind me because there's that commercial that's running on television where the police officer's going up to stop the kids from making out on <laughs> Lookout Point or wherever they're supposed exactly. to be. It turns out to be the, the, the parents are in the car, yeah. Yeah. and that's what made me think of this little yeah. subject. So anyway, so whether you're making out in the parking lot at Walmart or you're at Barnes yeah. Light. Or if you have a little nicer view. Whatever the case may be. Uh, check out the story. It's at WOPM.com. Oh. I knew Nancy would make oh, fun of boy. that. Oh, how could you not? Come on, it's romantic. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Certainly right. convenient. <laughs> exactly. That's all it's about, baby. Trying to find convenient that time. Store. Where's the Walmart parking lot? How many oh police goodness. officers out there say, wait a minute now, that rings a bell. Remember that <laughs> yeah. time we got that lady <laughs> out there? She was running around. No, anyway, here's oh, uh, Nancy. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, oh, the traffic. That crazy blonde. This report is brought to you by Aruba One. 92.7 WOBM, good morning. Good morning. Hi, we're playing for a chance for uh, season passes for the uh, Six Flags Great Adventure. Lucky Charms, what are the marshmallows called? Are they Lucky Sweets, Magical Sugar, Marbits, or Fun for the Tongue? Um, magical Sugars. Not Magical no. Sugars. Thanks for calling it. WOBM, good morning. Are you a fan of Lucky Charms in the morning? Do you like Lucky Charms? <laughs> yes, I do. All right, so... Good. Is it Lucky Sweets, Magical Sugar, Marbits, or Fun for the Tongue? Marbits. You got it. Yes. That yeah. is it. Marbits. You have some Six Flags season passes, baby cakes. That is awesome. What is your name? Samantha. What town are you from, Samantha? South Palm River. So, Samantha, what's your favorite ride at Six Flags? Probably nitro. Nitro, yeah, nitro. I like nitro. That's okay. my favorite. That's the high. That's one of the highest. Yeah, I like that there, one. Yeah. I like that one. Mm-hmm. What about a uh, breakfast cereal? What's your favorite? Would it be Lucky Charms or no? Probably not. I don't what? really eat breakfast though. You don't even bother. A cup of coffee Listen, and out the door. You need to eat something. How about an apple or an orange? Are you gonna tell her it's the most important oh, yeah. meal of the day. It's the most important <laughs> meal of the day. Well, thanks for calling in, Samantha. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. She's got Six Flags tickets mood. with Maybe WOBM. Some chocolate, All right, something. slow down. No right. chocolate. <laughs> 92.7 WOBM. Good morning, Sean Sue, with you. It's 642, 45 degrees. Everybody get back to school today, so the early morning alarm clock's going off again, Sue. You bet spring break is over. Darn. So today we're talking about something that came up last week mm-hmm. and how. You know, as you get more comfortable with your your significant other, mm-hmm. um, some couples may opt to use like you know father or or daddy or mommy or mother, <laughs> um, and I always just find this to be funny. And I'm not trying to say that um, insulting those who do, but I just can't picture myself calling my wife mother. You know, no, 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 no. It would you know, be more like, like mother, mommy, mother, mother mommy, are the children not good? Mother. What, mommy? Mommy, um, listen, not mother. That sounds like that um <laughs> that movie, that weird movie Hitchcock movie. Oh, you mean uh, Psycho? Oh my word! You don't call her. Mother, mother. doesn't like when I go out at night. Oh yeah. my goodness! Uh, no, I'm talking about. Usually, you'll see like you know on the Lifetime movies, you know, the older father, the older you know husband will be like mother. My dad or calls the... my mom mommy. He calls her mommy. Always. <laughs> see, I can't. Yes. See, my wife told me, do not, to, don't, don't, yeah. even, don't even. So now my question for you, Sue. Yeah. At this point, mm-hmm. do you call your lover father? <laughs> <laughs> do you call Nick father? Like, father, we got to take the kids over to the mall today, get new shoes. No, I do call him big daddy sometimes. Big daddy, okay. Yeah, but no, All I right. mean, it's not like a normal everyday thing. Yeah. I'll be very curious. If you had to bet, mm-hmm. do you think Nancy calls... <laughs> Her husband, father. Okay. First off, it's not father. It would be daddy. And no, I doubt it very much. I doubt it. All right. It is cute, though. Like, my parents have been married 56 years. Yeah. yeah. They can call each other whatever the heck they want to. See, some people may look at it that way. Yeah, I mean, I just... you know, it's always been mommy, daddy. Yeah. And then if mom's talking to him, she'll say, daddy, <laughs> come over here. I'm like, what? Yeah. It still catches me off guard. Yeah. It's cute, though. Uh, I guess. I, it's not for me, but I, I guess. All right, so. Well, you've called me mommy. I've called you daddy. No, maybe. Hey, daddy. <laughs> There's that 
voice whenever I go into maybe hey, you've Daddy. maybe you've done that out of the Walmart parking lot. But <laughs> <laughs> the Ocean County Breakfast Show with Shawn Michaels and Sumo. Ocean County's best variety. Ninety-two point seven. Funny thing about last night, I told you how we were going to go into the city. We're going to do a Russian mm-hmm. dinner and all that good stuff. Well, as always, New York has a funny way of putting objects in front of you when you're trying to get someplace in a hurry called traffic. <laughs> yeah, I've heard of that. Yes. You're late. So we got in a little bit later than we wanted to. And uh, it was funny because we had uh, Russian on a fly. And I said to the waitress, and I don't think she got it, I said, hey, I'm Russian, my Russian. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh. She did, I don't think she got yeah, it. No. But anyway, we had to eat. Or well, maybe she did plate. and decided <laughs> not to comment on your sense of humor. <laughs> I'm Russian, my Russian. Wake up with Shawn Michaels and Sue Mall, weekdays 5 to 10. The Ocean County Breakfast Show. Been last weekend too. All right, right now we're at 55 in Tom's River. Nancy's with us, and real quick, Nancy Sue went to a paint party last night, mm. and I'm looking at the photos. You did a really good job with your painting. You gonna put that on the wall? Oh yeah, yeah. And the cool thing, Nance, about our paint party, it was a girls' night, yep. and we brought our daughters. Oh, that is very nice. So mm-hmm. it was the moms and their daughters, and we all had such a wonderful time. Magic Brushes Paint Party out of Manahawkin comes to your house. And uh, they, well, they do come this. to you. Yeah, they come oh, to you. Mm-hmm. And so we were at my girlfriend's house, and our daughters loved it. Oh, well, what's not to love? I mean, How much fun is that? We just That's cool to create art. That's the nice. The best time. Now, these art parties are pretty popular. Yeah. They're showing mm-hmm. us the wine glasses that they do, mm-hmm. which would really be fun as yeah. well. But for the kids to watch your daughter do it, I just I just had the best time last night. Yeah. Now so you the gotta, pictures will be up in a you second. you got to hang the uh, art on the wall, though. Yes. My Abby's wife has mine. done this, and one of the mm-hmm. things that she did, one of the paintings, is actually up uh, in the house. So yeah, it's definitely. Neat, so. It's something that you treasure. Nancy, I could see you do that, making well, your own one. art. I, I went oh, to yeah. one of the parties. Yeah, cool. It was a lot of fun. Very nice. It mm-hmm. is fun. It's a lot of fun. So well, uh, it's a great thing. Looks Magic good. Magic Brushes Paint Party. I like your tree. It's a very cool-looking mystical tree. Yeah, it's cool. It's your family tree. Put your hearts on the mountain. I got you. Nancy, Remy is in to get you to work this morning and maybe those trees are blowing a little bit out there now <laughs> just about everything is this report is brought to you by 92.7 wobm good morning hi good morning hi what's your name my name is marissa what? hi martha no it's How miranda is it miranda marissa marissa a uh, marissa <laughs> sorry about that we're, we were all, all off. we're all off uh what town are you from marissa i'm from baybell okay so here you go Basically, true or false, we're calling it truth or fibs. The Jetsons, the theme song from the Jetsons, made it to number three on the Billboard music charts in 1986. Is that truth or fibs? Fibs. You got it. That is fibs. All right. But it did make it to number nine. It was a top oh, wow. ten. wow. It was a top ten song. Cool. The number one soda in America is Diet Coke. Is that truth or fibs? You got it. Wow. Regular Coke is number one. By the way, Pepsi is number two. Diet Coke is number three. Dr. Pepper is number four. And Mountain Dew is number five. And here's your final question, uh, Marissa. The person who invented dunking your donut in coffee (laughs) was a silent film star named Mae Murray. She accidentally dropped her donut in her coffee in the 1920s, she liked the taste and started spreading the word. Is that truth or fibs? Uh, I'm going to say truth. You got it. It's yeah. true. We can thank May Murray. Good job. May Murray. She dropped her donut in her coffee, said, wow, I think I just dunked my donut. Wow. <laughs> awesome, Marissa, Miranda, Martha. Congratulations. <laughs> All right, you're going to go see <laughs> Philip Phillips and Matt Nathanson at the Stone Pony on their summer stage, part of their big summer concert series. Go to stoneponyonline.com for more details. Hold on the line. Congratulations. Great. Thank you. 92.7 WOBM. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, do I qualify for the Iceland trip? Well, what is your name? Joseph. Joseph. No. no you got to hear your name called Joseph. All oh, right. okay. You enter and win at WOBM.com. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Hi, what can we do for you? 
Um, did you just call? Did you just have a contest for when it was Church of Iceland, or am I crazy? No, we just called our first qualifier for today that we were looking for. Sue, we're looking for John Caggiano. Yes, in what town? Oh. Sue. Tom's River. Tom's River. Okay, so thanks for calling. WOBM, good morning. Good morning. Hi. Hi, how you doing? My name was just called. <laughs> Wait a minute now. I've had three calls. You're the third caller now who oh. wasn't the right person. What is your name? My name is John Caggiano. Wow. Oh. Yeah, there he is, Sue. <laughs> All these people calling in saying they're John. Well, they didn't say they were John Caggiano, but oh, they were trying to win. They didn't the... say they were John Caggiano. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. You're coming to the Bon Voyage party. Well, that's great. Thank the, you the very much. The vacation of a lifetime. What are you choosing? Punta Cana? It's Iceland? Gotta be, it's got to be Punta Cana. I only choose warm places. You're only going to go wow. to sun and sand, huh? I only choose warm places. Johnny, Punta I'd go Cana. with you because, wow, fantastic. All right, so Punta okay. Cana is his choice. John, we're going to see you at the big uh, Bon Voyage party coming up. Hold on the line okay. for us, okay? Sure, you bet. All right, it is a bonus Thursday, Sue. More chances to qualify. Everyone is excited. People who weren't even John Caggiano <laughs> are calling in today. So. It's that trip to Iceland with the vacation of a lifetime. Punta Cana or Napa Valley. 92.7 WOBM. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, do I qualify for the Iceland trip? Well, what is your name? Joseph. Joseph. No. no you got to hear your name called Joseph. All oh, right. okay. You enter and win at WOBM.com. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Hi. What can we do for you? Um, did you just call? Did you just have a contest for when it was Church of Iceland, or am I crazy? No, we just called <laughs> our first qualifier for today that we were looking for. Sue, we're looking for John Caggiano. Yes. In what town? Oh. Sue. Tom's River. Tom's River. Okay. So thanks for calling. WOBM. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? My name was just called. <laughs> Wait a minute now. I've had three calls. You're the third caller now who oh. wasn't the right person. What is your name? My name is John Caggiano. Wow. Oh. Yeah, there he is, Sue. <laughs> All these people calling in saying they're John. Well, they didn't say they were John Caggiano, but oh, they were trying to win. They didn't the... say they were John Caggiano. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. You're coming to the Bon Voyage party. Well, that's great. Thank the, you the very much. The vacation of a lifetime. What are you choosing? Punta Cana? It's got to be Punta Cana. I only choose warm places. You're only going to go wow. to sun and sand, huh? I only choose warm places. Johnny, Punta I'd go Cana. with you because, wow, fantastic. All right, so Punta okay. Cana is his choice. John, we're going to see you at the big uh, Bon Voyage party coming up. Hold on the line okay. for us, okay? Sure, you bet. All right, it is a bonus Thursday, Sue. More chances to qualify. Everyone is excited. People who weren't even John Caggiano <laughs> are calling in today, Sue. So. It's that trip to Iceland with the vacation of a lifetime. Punta Cana or Napa Valley. 92.7 WOBM, good morning. Good morning. Uh, do I qualify for the Iceland trip? Well, what is your name? Joseph. Joseph. No. no you got to hear your name called Joseph. All oh, right. okay. You enter and win at WOBM.com. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Hi. What can we do for you? Um. Did you just call? Did you just have a contest for when it was Church of Iceland, or am I crazy? No, we just called <laughs> our first qualifier for today that we were looking for. Sue, we're looking for John Caggiano. Yes, in what town? Oh. Sue. Tom's River. Tom's River. Okay, so thanks for calling. WOBM. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Hi. How you doing? My name was just called. <laughs> Wait a minute now. I've had three calls. You're the third caller now who oh. wasn't the right person. What is your name? My name is John Caggiano. Wow. Oh. Yeah, there he is, Sue. <laughs> All these people calling in saying they're John. Well, they didn't say they were John Caggiano, but oh, they were trying to win. They didn't the... say they were John Caggiano. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. You're coming to the Bon Voyage party. Well, that's great. Thank the, you very much. The vacation of a lifetime. What are you choosing? Punta Cana? It's Iceland? Gotta be, it's got to be Punta Cana. I only choose warm places. You're only going to go wow. to sun and sand, huh? I only choose warm places. Johnny, Punta I'd go Cana. with you because, wow, fantastic. All right, so Punta okay. Cana is his choice. John, we're going to see you at the big uh, Bon Voyage party coming up. Hold on the line okay. for us, okay? Sure, you bet. All right, it is a bonus Thursday, Sue. More chances to qualify. Everyone is excited. People who weren't even John Caggiano <laughs> are calling in today, Sue. So. It's that trip to Iceland with the vacation of a lifetime. Punta Cana or Napa Valley. WOBM, good morning. Hi, good morning. Hi. Um, hi. 
Yes, I heard you guys. You mentioned my name, Kim Pickenick, for the vacation of a lifetime. No, we did not. Oh, really? No. No, we we did Keith Picnic. Yes. Oh, that's my brother. Okay. Call him. Call now him. Now listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. <laughs> His clock is ticking. Yeah. All right, let me get. Are you, clo- are you, clo- are you close with Keith? Can you text him right now? Wait, are you close with Keith? Yes, he's my brother, but I'm at work, so let me call him right no, now. Wait a minute, let me ask you a question. Oh, my God. Wait a minute, let me ask you a question. Are you close enough with Keith that he will take you on the vacation of oh. a lifetime? Uh I hope so, yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to let you go, and if we hear from Keith, then maybe you'll be going to, where would you pick, Punta Cana, <laughs> Napa Valley, or Iceland? Oh, definitely Iceland. All right, Iceland. All Kim, right. he's wasting your time. You have to call Keith. <laughs> All right, let me call Keith. All right. Listen, listen, as, as, soon, as soon as we hang up, I want you to call. Okay, what I'm is his name again? Right what is his name, oh Sue? So, is Keith. it Keith? You call Keith right, as Kim. soon as we hang up, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right, have a good day. We'll see if we get a call back oh with WOBM. Word. All right, Janet Jackson, 943, Tuesday morning. Sean, Sue with you. Sue, top 10 reasons for not going to the gym. All right. <laughs> I can give you the first top 12 if you uh, need. Top 12? <laughs> Number 10 on the list, yeah. a bad day at work. Have you ever had a bad day at work? It takes you out of going to the gym. Thank goodness, no, we don't have too many of them. The gym is too intimidating. Have you ever felt that no. way? That people no, are just no, too no. powerful to have for you to go? No one to work out with. I never worked out with anybody. No. Uh, the gym's too busy. Eh, ah, that, that, could, a, that could be, you know. Maybe. No money. That's yes, not, that's well, a big possibility. That's not a case because they take it right out of your account. <laughs> well, what if you don't have money and then well, you overdraw? Then they, they won't let you in the gym. Okay. Don't <laughs> like exercising. Sue is number five go. on the ding, list. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> ding, ding. <laughs> Bad weather. Oh, that could be. Oh, if it's a little rainy, unless you're I'm working not going out, out outside, right? <laughs> I'm not Too going Too tired out. is number three. Sure. No motivation. Mm. That's my big one there. I, I Sometimes I get done work and I'm just not motivated to stop. Are you serious? The uh, number one reason, what do you think it is? Mm. No time, Sue. Yeah. No time to get to the gym. Yeah. So I would go. think motivation and time. That was but on um, I'm female I'm surprised first. you're not motivated. No, I, I haven't been for a while. I don't know what it is. I have not been able to wrap my head around getting done here and then stopping there because I okay. don't want to go home and then go back out again. Sure. Because the gym's a little bit away from my house. All right. Well, do I need to motivate you every day? And That might be part of the problem why you've lost motivation, Sue. So. <laughs> because I'm so against it. I'll <laughs> or no, stop you just, it. You just stare me in various directions. <laughs> Thanks for listening to Sean and Sue's podcast on 92.7 WOBM. For more details, go to WOBM.com. 92.7 WOBM, Ocean County's best variety. Start your day with the Ocean County Breakfast Show. Sean Michaels and Sue Mall have everything you need to start the day in Ocean County. Diane D'Alavera has Ocean County News. Weather from meteorologist Dan Zero. Nancy Remy with the Ocean County Traffic Watch. Plus, the hometown view with Kevin Williams. The Ocean County Breakfast Show, weekdays 5 till 10. 92.7 WOBM and WOBM.com.